Today we're gonna teach you how to grill the most delicious scallops wrapped in bacon. For this we're gonna use uh, these mini skewers. They're three and three quarter inches long. They sell them in the uh, grilling supplies section. You can also use regular toothpicks that are uh, shorter. Uh, they'll work just as well. These are just easier to use. All right, now we're starting off with the scallops, which are seasoned with uh, salt, crushed pepper, and garlic powder. And these are pretty small, so, and they're gonna get a lot of flavor from the bacon, so you wanna go kind of light on the spices, because they're gonna get a lot of flavor from the bacon. And here we have um, some pretty long, thick cut pieces of bacon, as you can see. So what we've done is we've cut it in half because uh, it's just going to be too long if we use uh, the entire slice. They're going to be too thick. So what we're going to do is take the scallop and make sure that it's sideways like that. You start rolling it up. It's important to make sure the scallop is rolled up sideways like a wheel. Like that. And then you go to the end, the outside end of the bacon, which is here, and put the a toothpick through all the way into the other end. And that automatically will hold it together because the bacon's going to hold it from the side and the toothpick will hold it from turning. So as you can see we've got our work cut out for us here so we're going to get to work on wrapping these scallops. All right, so we've got these all wrapped, and here we've made two uh, with uh, a full piece of bacon for those who love extra bacon, and we also have a couple for people who don't want bacon. So we're ready to put these on the grill. We're gonna cook these for two minutes per side, given how small they are, and the grill is pretty hot. It's, uh, the coals are white, and there's a little bit of a glow in there, if you can see. So we're gonna put them right on the hot spot and cook them for about two minutes per side and check on them. Now if you're cooking in the cold like we are, the grill is generally only really hot right over the coals. And this grill in particular is not very good at retaining heat. So you have to, if you're cooking in the cold, you gotta make sure you put the food directly over the, uh, the hot part of the grill. All right, now we're gonna cover them and let them cook for two minutes. All right, now it's been two minutes, so we're gonna open this up and start flipping. All the grease from the bacon will produce a fire, but if you close the lid, It'll keep the fire down to an acceptable flame. All right, now we're gonna close and cook for another two minutes. All right, it's been another two minutes. We actually closed off a couple of the vents on this grill to uh, keep the flame down. And as you can see, there's no more flame and we're ready to take these off. These are gonna be amazing. Can't wait to try them. 